uh, welcome back in the today's lecture i will talk about some components in the blockchain solution and uh, from next video lecture i will start the basic detail of uh, hyperledger fabric and uh, how the transaction flows and uh, much more detailed things related to hyperledger composer and all so in this lecture i am going to basically cover what are the basic actors will involve in the hyperledger uh, or any solutions for the blockchain business problems sorry blockchain problems and for that the we are providing a blockchain solution so let's start in this uh, figure we can see different actors are involved like uh, we know that uh, we have a traditional processing platforms there will be a traditional data sources so any blockchain solution will not function in a very isolated manner or a very independent entity it will cooperate it will coordinate with the existing platform and for certain problems this blockchain ecosystem will address so definitely this blockchain uh, ecosystem will uh, access all these traditional processing platform and uh, data sources we will have a uh, membership services in any blockchain solution specifically specifically it will be involved for the permission blockchain where it is used to authenticate about the identity of that uh, participant in that blockchain network the next one is the blockchain user this is the user which will use this blockchain platform but uh, that blockchain user may not be aware about the technical background then regulatory body and uh, blockchain developer and the blockchain architect basically this architect will be responsible for designing of the blockchain solution and this is the blockchain developer which will create certain uh, client applications certain uh, smart contract kind of thing so for development of all those things this blockchain developer will be responsible then blockchain network operator who will manage all these networks so let's uh, see the roles in more detail the first one the blockchain architect it will responsible for the architecture and design of the blockchain solution blockchain user as i said uh, this is the user this uh, this will use that blockchain platform interact with the platform but uh, may not be aware about this blockchain uh, technical kind of thing blockchain regulator the overall authority in the business network it will be and it will uh, decide the regulatory functions and uh, this blockchain regulatory authority can access all the ledger's content so for that this uh, actor will play then i said blockchain developer it will develop the smart contract certain client applications blockchain operator will manage and monitor the blockchain network each business in the network uh, basically require this blockchain operator then this membership service as i said it will manage the identity of the participant in this blockchain solution and uh, especially it is a, a mandatory part in the permission blockchain certain certificate uh, authority is uh, playing this role then traditional processing platform and traditional data sources as i said earlier now about the component uh, blockchain component the very important part in any blockchain solution is the ledger so a ledger is basically a channels chain and the current state of data is maintained in uh, by each peer 
on the channel. So I will talk about this uh, channels and the chain in next video lecture. And in this lecture, I will talk in more detail about this laser. Then a smart contract, you know, it is a piece of code which is responsible for uh, encoding the asset and the transaction instructions. That is a kind of business logic running on the blockchain, modifying all, all those things. So a smart contract is basically a kind of uh, code which is run on the blockchain. Then peer network, uh, all the peer connected with each other and collectively they will work to find out the consensus and to confirm whether the correctness of the particular transaction and uh, taking decision to constitute all those transactions in the form of block and addition of that block in the network. Then membership that is uh, related to authentication, authorization and managing the identity on a permission blockchain network. Uh, I would like to remind you that Hyperlaser Fabric is basically uh, the permission blockchain network. It, it is not uh, mostly used. Then events. For certain of us uh, and significant operations, a certain kind of notifications generated on the blockchain ecosystem and uh, which is known as uh, events. So several kinds of notification is possible. I will discuss at last in this lecture. Then uh, system management, it provides the ability to create, change and monitor all the blockchain components. Wallet, which is a secure, securely manages as a user security credentials. And then system integration, which is responsible for integrating the blockchain bi-directionally with the external system, which is not a part of the blockchain, but uh, which is used with the uh, coordination with the blockchain. Now, let's uh, understand this uh, laser. So this is the first thing, which is laser, which is the important component in any blockchain solution. So basically this laser have two data structure. The first one is uh, immutable part. That is the basic property of blockchain solution where blocks are stored in immutable fashion. That is uh, no one can tamper it. So we can take it uh, this blockchain as a linked list of block where all the blocks are connected by using a hash pointer and that's why we say it is a hash chain as well. Here each block describes a set of transactions. We know that uh, in the, each block we store a set of transactions and uh, all these blocks are interconnected with the hash pointer. And this transaction may be in smart contract invocation, certain kind of output, certain identity, etc. Now, this uh, smart contract or uh, a kind of blockchain, uh, we store in immutable fa fashion, but whenever a smart contract executes, then it takes some input and corresponding to that, we get some output. So we have a different data structure in the laser, which, which is known as word state. It stores the most recent state of smart contract, certain output of uh, the transaction executed by the smart contract on the blockchain. So all these states information are stored in the word state and the way of storing this information is uh, just like traditional databases like key value store we can add we can modify it we can delete and all these things can be done in the word state part but i would like to remind you on this blockchain part the storage is in immutable file so no now uh, i have already covered all these things we know that in the blockchain we have uh, blocks which is connected to the hash pointer. In each block, we store set of transactions and uh, certain header information I have covered in the previous video lectures. 
that is the previous block has, this is the hash code of this block and so on. Now, this, uh, this is the particular uh, set of example for the laser. You can see, suppose this is the application code we have, that is the transaction input set from the application. That is invoke my contract set owner my car and this particular owner. So this information as a function argument we are passing here in the client application code. Now, when it comes to a smart contract, then a smart contract will execute this on the blockchain. And suppose the corresponding code we have set owner for and new owner as the argument we are passing and this is the setting the car owner by the new owner. So whenever this code will be compiled on the blockchain, then corresponding to that we will have a transaction which will be stored in the blockchain in immutable fashion. So you can see this uh, invoke my contract set owner my car and this map it is stored in the form of transaction here in the blockchain so it is uh, it will be stored in immutable fashion but whenever uh, we see the current state when this value will be set then corresponding to the input output data will be stored in this word state so you can see this uh, my car dot owner is a uh, match and this is the kind of serial number you can say uh, who is the owner manufacturer of this car so several information certain fields can be stored in this word state so this is the immutable fashion this transaction is stored in the blockchain and this is the current state of the execution of the smart contract which is stored in the word state now uh, in this slide, we can see how application interact with laser. This is suppose blockchain developer. He will develop certain kind of client applications. SDK it will be used. We can use Python, Java, Node.js kind of a thing for developing that. That blockchain developer will develop the smart contract as well. And uh, this is smart contract will record certain transaction on the blockchain. This is smart contract can uh, modify, can delete, can read, can write on the word state as discussed earlier. And uh, this client application and uh, smart contract collaboratively can access this uh, blockchain. And this uh, smart contract can emit certain events and from blockchain certain events can be generated. I will talk in the next slide about this emitting events. And all these things happen in a particular peer. How this peer can interact, I will talk in the next video lecture. So these are certain events are possible. For example, uh, in computing, an event is occurrence just like in databases, uh, certain kind of triggers handlers like disk full, fail link, the transfer, complete, uh, there's certain kind of uh, masses received and so many uh, events can be generated through this. And uh, this is very important in the asynchronous processing system like blockchain where certain kind of delay is possible and the blockchain can emit events that are useful to application programmer as well just like a transaction has been validated or the transaction is rejected a certain block has been added so this type of uh, events can be used very helpful for the blockchain programmer events from the external system might also trigger the blockchain entity like a uh, time period has elapsed or temperature has gone up so this type of uh, events can be and uh, at last this uh, blockchain network basically uh, you can see these are all peers in previous slides i talked about a single peer now this can coordinate this is a certain kind of ordering system 
and these are uh, different pair having a laser so this blockchain network will work with the existing platform and uh, they can work in integrated fashion so in the next video lecture i will talk about the transaction flow in hyperledger fabric so enough for today thank you